Hello YouTube and welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel and my review of this, the Olight M2R Pro Warrior. Now this is a limited edition, a dark green edition. I gotta say, looks very good. So this has a side switch, it has a tail switch, it's got a crenellated strike bezel, and a TIR lens. It's also got some good texture here for grip. Easily removable pocket clip. Alright, also, I know this is a flashlight review, but I have a time-sensitive alert. Stuff you want to know about. The Cold Steel Chris Voyager, those are now in stock. I got these just today after a very long wait on pre-order. The Gerber Armbar Drive Multi-Tool, which has a blade, scissors, a bit driver, those are also now in stock. I will include a link also be aware, there are four new Cold Steel Tomahawks that have just been introduced. Those are now in stock, right? I have Cold Steel Hudson Bay Tomahawk on its way to me right now. I will include links to the four new Cold Steel Tomahawks, the Voyager, and those Gerber multi-tools. And here's a short preview, just a little closer look at these items. Yeah, this, this, could, be, this could be quite useful as a multi-tool in your pocket. Now this cold steel is just, I mean, that's just wicked. It is a large knife, long blade. Let's see. All right, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> All right, so there you go. All right, back to the flashlight review. It also comes with a recharging cable, that lanyard, and this very nice holster. And it also comes with a 21700 rechargeable lithium ion battery to get at it. Just unscrew the tail cap and this is the battery that it comes with. Now be aware they are having a 40% off sale. That is a significant savings. I am going to hold this video until just before that sale so that all of you can get in on it and you know save a lot of money. The information about the sale will be in the text description box, but I mean it, it's almost 50% off, almost. That, that's crazy, so take advantage of that. Now here are the stats on the light. So you see it's got six different brightness levels. The maximum lumens, 1,800 in the turbo mode. Now the max beam distance is 300 meters and you see the run times for each mode there as well. It has one special mode which is strobe. To turn on the light you press the side switch. To turn off the light you also press the side switch. To cycle through uh, the low, medium, medium 2, and the high mode you press the side switch and hold it. So you see that. It also has a turbo mode which you can get through with a, to with a double tap and that is the turbo mode. Wow. It also has a moonlight mode which you get to when it is off if you press and hold you get to moonlight. Alright now to strobe you triple tap. Warning we're gonna strobe ya. And that is the strobe. Alright and just a warning we're going to strobe again with the tail switch. With the tail switch if you half press it will do turbo if you full press, it will strobe. Now in order to recharge the battery in the light, take your charging cable, plug it into any uh, USB power source. That's a power bank. All right, and this is magnetic. And there you go. Now when it's recharging, that light will be red. Since I just finished recharging this and it's fully charged, that light is green. At this time, I'm going to roll in some demonstration footage from outside, and then we'll come back for final thoughts on this light. And here is the light on the testing board. This is the moonlight mode. Let's cycle through the brightness levels. That is the high mode and turbo. That is turbo. That's pretty nice. All right, warning, we got the strobe coming. That is your strobe. 
All right, YouTube, here we are on the road testing out this Olight. Let's go to the turbo mode. Wow, that's nice and bright. What can we see? I'm just going to walk around for a little bit and uh, show you what you would see if you, uh, you know, if your car broke down on an old, on an old country road. Wow, this lights up the whole road. All right, YouTube, here is a top view of the uh, beam shot from this Olight on the road. Look how far it reaches. You hear those noises? I definitely hear some frogs. Yeah, this is doing a great job. Let's go check out the creek. Okay, here we are overlooking Frog Creek with this uh, Olight light. Let's see what we can see. That is an awesome spotlight effect. Up to the treetops. All the way down the creek. You see the water down there flowing very strongly. Wow, it's like daylight down there. I'm up on the banks of the creek. Yeah, this is doing very well. well all right, YouTube, that is the Olight lighting up Frog Creek. And here is the Olight on the sports field. That is the soccer goal, and I am uh, standing basically next to the other soccer goal right off that way so this is crossing the length of the whole soccer field there's a lot of stuff in the air but you can see that goal I can see it in my little viewfinder there I'll know if the focus will the camera stay focused ha huh. no there's a whoa there you go yeah there's a lot of stuff in the air but yeah you can you can make out that goal so Impressive range on this. I mean, if that was a person, I mean, you you could see that you could see any sort of perpetrator or threat or target or whatever, friend or foe. All right, that's focusing a little better. Yeah, so I'm liking this Olight. I mean, this is that's great performance in like adverse conditions. Yeah, great performance in adverse conditions. All right, well that's the Olight on the soccer field. And here is the Olight overlooking the backyard and the neighbor's yard as well. All right, I am in the second story window. There's the wood pile right there. Now check out that spotlight effect. If that bush were a trespasser, you'd see everything. All right, if the trespasser were farther away, if they were, let's say they were under that tree. Again, this is lighting, this is lighting up everything. From way up here. And without light, you see, this is what you would see. Just those distant lights, nothing, right? And that is with the turbo mode. So excellent coverage, just excellent for that, you know, backyard security mission. And we are back, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed that. So what are my final thoughts and conclusions on the M2R Pro Warrior? Well, it, it is like, it's very similar to past tactical lights by Olight, but they've added numerous improvements, just the stats, the brightness, the range, uh, but the biggest improvement is the use of the 21700 battery. Now that battery has much higher capacity than an 18650, so you're going to have great endurance and run times. That battery has as much capacity as many 26650 batteries, but of course it's much slimmer, right? Has a much smaller diameter, so it's just a, a good configuration of performance, but it's uh, relatively compact. You've got that strike bezel for close encounters of the violent kind, right? This has that TIR lens which focuses your beam, which is what you want with a tactical light. You don't want to flutter. You want something to spotlight your potential target. I also like that it has a tail switch 
you know, very easy to find in the dark. And of course that this is compatible for use with your firearms, which is um, what a lot of people will acquire this for. And, you know, in with, with accessories for firearms, you know, that could be life or death. Right, so you don't want to you don't want to cheap out as far as that goes. All right, so you want t something top of the line like this. Uh, o lights are very high quality. Look, they've been reviewed by people I know who who were in the Marines who have actually been in firefights. They've been reviewed by police officers. Uh, p again, people who've actually been in shootouts. I I trust them, and that's. Uh, you know, I trust those people to um, recommend a tactical light, all right? So, uh, in this case, you know, go with the best. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives and Flashlights. I'm out.